When I applied to Princeton, my, uh, my undergraduate uh, admissions essay was titled The Agenda of Discovery. And I think I realized after, uh, especially my, uh, my, my volunteer experience in Ghana, that the agenda of discovery included more than Princeton's campus. I actually um, had started looking at IIPs uh, as soon as I walked into Fitz Randolph Gates. And it was great to have someone like Dr. Duarte Silva, the IIP director, who was so willing to sit down with me and um, work with me in terms of helping me find something that would best fit my needs and interests. I was really scared to, before leaving and I thought, oh, you know, I'm leaving for a semester and what's it going to be like when I come back and am I going to be able to just walk into this completely new environment, this new university, this new setting with new friends and then I realized, like, well, I've done that once before, you know, when I came here the first time, I didn't know anyone on campus, I didn't know where I was going or where I was living or anything. And you know, being able to cook for myself, having to buy groceries, having to commute to, to university, um, having to struggle with the language and make new friends um, and navigate, you know, their metro system. Um, I think all of those were really welcome changes in pace of life as compared to Princeton. Being in such a different society, it caused me to reconsider a lot of things that I just sort of had assumed about the world um, my entire life and see that there's sort of a different way to look at everything. And that was really um, valuable because maybe my mind didn't change about everything, but I feel like I'm much more open-minded. It was really exciting at the age of 19 to be able to go abroad, live abroad, um, and have been my first time living and working abroad and being in another country for such an extended period of time. I went in with this preconceived notion that I was an intern and that my role was supposed to be in the background, but at the office there was a very egalitarian attitude and I was immediately thrust into um, several leadership positions. The best part of my experience in Santiago was all the work that I, all the research that I had done uh, within my economic development division was eventually used uh, for a presentation that was shown to the entire organization and where also current and previous Latin American presidents were present. Like any memory uh, with my host family, um, I completely cherish. When I left, my senora said to me, you know, you always have a home in Sevilla. It's just the fact that I now have this other family um, is just completely just unforgettable. After I came back from my internship, I found that I would be in my politics classes constantly remembering things I had heard about or things I had read or actually pe actual people that I had met who were affected by certain policies. I would always raise my hand pointing out that, oh, you know, Central America is, a, is an exception to that rule or Nicaragua was the perfect example of this. So I came back and um, my Arabic classes were totally different because, you know, I had a face, um, I had a language, I had a people, I had a street, I had... Um, you know, images to go with the language, um, you know, people to think about when I was when I was practicing my conversations, you know, at the Arabic table or in class. Um, and likewise in my, you know, politics classes and I was I was in a seminar on authoritarianism, I had real life experience to back up what I was studying and all the theories that I was reading and um, academic work and I think that really added um, much more depth and texture, I think, to my study. All I can say is that I'm really grateful for my semester abroad for, for opening my eyes to what Princeton is and um, for taking my academics in a completely different direction. So. I think it broadened my horizons in terms of allowing me to recognize in myself that I was able to use what I had learned at Princeton in the wider world um, and within the context of an organization that was interested in what I'm interested in in terms of performance, art, uh, ethnic studies, cultural studies, but as a way to foster social change. Um, and that was sort of the key ingredient in my Princeton career that I kind of felt that I was missing. Uh, uh, this past fall, I received the Mitchell Scholarship to study abroad in Ireland for one year. I'll be pursuing a master's in economic policy. And I think the, um, the Singapore experience was focal in, in, uh, in why I got the Mitchell. It came up in my interview, it came up in my essay, and it was really a uh, continuing thread throughout. If I were a supreme ruler of the world, I would mandate every single student at Princeton to study abroad. If you go abroad, you're going to have such a great time and you're going to feel so much more happy to be at Princeton when you get back and appreciate your Princeton experience while also learning things that you would never ever be able to learn at Princeton. It's, it's 
seriously a highlight of my Princeton experience.